Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Send me in peace out to the rest of you. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. I'm going to talk quickly. This message is for free because it's that important. And I'll get right to it. Gentlemen, I'm not telling anybody to mentor the youth. There's some situations in which that's a good thing to do. They're probably so exceptional that I'd be wasting your time if I talked about it. I've stated before that if you do, it needs to be on your terms. And there's one thing you must tell the kids without the mother's consent. And that is um, how they came about in the first place, how she picked dad, whether he's there or not. How uh, the wicked witches of the West pick men in general. Who's going to wife them up and take responsibilities and who's going to just get, a, get in them guts and flee? We need, they need to know this. And if mama doesn't consent, it's more important that you tell her son that. And they still need to pay. Somehow, the mentoring should be paid for, but I'm not going to go all into that. Because um, what's, what's, what I wanted to tell you that we got to tell these young boys right now is that... Um, well, there are two things, really, but it's the same message. The first thing, it is important to tell these young boys. And I'm talking when they are in second and third grade is a good time to tell them. Number one, young man, your worth as a person and as a man specifically cannot hinge upon the validation of the wicked witches of the West. Number two, in a few years, towards the end of elementary school and certainly more intensely in middle and high school, that is exactly how the peer group is going to choose which boys are valid and which ones are not. You will come under intense pressure to value yourself and validate yourself based on the wicked witches of the West selection of you. And they're not going to select in most cases. They won't pick many of you. It's not in their nature to, that's not wrong, but you're still going to be validated based on something that is so rare that you cannot even bank on it and rely on it. And that the culture is backwards. And that they must remember what you were telling them now when that day comes so that they are inoculated at a young age against the virus that will become more intense and, and more uh, uh more widespread in the environment as they get older and the peer group changes. Now, why is this important? Well, you see right now, when Minister Jab and Locario and all these dating roaches and game champions get to preaching and calling us all kinds of passport perverts and everything else, understand what's important in that. They still believe that the validation of that wicked witch of the West determines your worth as a man and as a person. They still believe that. And that's why they argue over what happened to you in high school and who uh, got B words in high school. They keep arguing about this. No, that's not a validation. That's not even a flex, honestly. There might be a skill involved in it, but honestly, that skill is not a flex. Because what it means is that you learn how to manipulate and dazzle broads. That's what it means. It means that you learn how to make them feel like they're no longer accountable for what they do. And that's all they've ever wanted. The authority of the man, the accountability of the child and the privilege of the woman. They've demanded this. I can understand why somebody may want it, but they demand this. And when you come with the swagger and you're trying to game them and dazzle them into picking you, what you're really saying is you aren't an adult. You don't get to pick based on what you yourself want and choose. You're a kid and I'm still going to reward you as a child, mentally speaking, with this ding dong because you're physically grown. That's the mistake. And that is not OK. When I stated that the one thing we've been doing wrong as men is being too easy above and below the belt. Notice everything else comes under that umbrella. Whether you're part of that seven to 15 percent that many of them choose in the West that they pretty much all choose in the West uh, to bump uglies with or whether you're part of the vast majority uh, to whom they want to present the bill for all these things so that some other guy can play so that that minority can get the guts and get the fun whichever one you generally have been too easy and you're beginning to not be that easy anymore which is great good excellent there is the progress there is the change 
but I want us to make progress more quickly than what we've been making it. And the reason that I want us to make this progress more quickly than what we've been making the progress is largely because. See, these, the, the sisterhood, the hyenocracy is making progress on an annual basis. Hashtags come out and more of them jump in. Divest, that's growing. But it's not just divesting. It's also blame the, a brother. And they don't have that hashtag yet, but it's coming. Our live black men waste his time. Get the bag. Cheat on him. Do him wrong. All this stuff. I got a book out how to destroy a man. Or what is it? No, destroy a man now. I want you to stop and think about that. And the publisher cannot be um, forced to um, reveal who the author actually is without the pen name. Yet they must pay this author. So somewhere, some lady supposedly has a PhD is sitting back and collecting checks in the mail for the sales of this book written out to her in her real name. But she doesn't neither does she nor the publisher have to reveal her real name she sells the book under a pen name can you imagine that meanwhile many of us have to sit up and think about how we're going to even reach a young black boy that's in second or third grade to tell them what they need to know to break this mother cuss word cycle so that his mama don't get to turn him into another son husband like she wants to. And believe me, she wants to. She's looking to turn him into a son husband. If if nope, if nothing stops her, then that's what she's going to do, because that's in her interest. Why not? This way, she doesn't have to keep a man. Because somewhere in the back of her mind, she knows that she can't keep the guy she wants anyway. She wouldn't want him if she could keep him. And that's where that son husband comes in. And granted, some of us might say, well, he ain't my kid, so why does it matter? And that's cool and that's fine and dandy and all. But understand that most of us ain't going to get out the country in a short time. So in the meantime by yanking that carpet and that rug from underneath the hyenas. We can make some changes even while we're working towards repatriation, reblatriation, which is a geographical and political solution. It is important. The most important thing we can tell these boys is not only what I said about how their mothers selected the biological fathers, but also what's even more important to, un to teach them than that is, again, number one, that their worth does not depend upon the validation of the worst woman in the world. The Wicked Witch of the West. And at number two, they're going to need to remember that in a few years because the society, which is, in fact, controlled by these wicked witches of the West in school and in the neighborhoods, is going to tell them the opposite, that that's exactly where their their worth comes from. From the most fickle broad on the planet validating them. And she ain't going to validate you if you ain't on the fast track to either the cell block or the cemetery. And that's really what keeps the community in the position in which we find it right now. This way, you don't have to actually mentor and you can upset the mechanism that keeps things the way they are. Because quiet as it's kept, the hyenas need a dysfunctional community to enjoy what they've been enjoying. Thank you for listening. Black heart, black mind, black out. Assalamu alaikum. And as always, black heterosexual, non-select male power because they don't like it. And black patriarchy until extinction or judgment day.